Here are five ways to be a better listener. Hi, I'm Kevin Eikenberry, and I'm here to help you reach your potential as a leader and a human being. Welcome to Remarkable TV and the Remarkable Leadership Podcast. If you happen to be watching on YouTube, glad you're here. Make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any future episodes. Five ways to be a better listener. Are you ready? Let's get started. This is part of an ongoing series about listening, and you could say that this is almost a summary of what we've talked about so far, but make sure you go back and listen to all the previous ones because there's a lot more there than this summary might be. But it, I thought it was useful to just talk about this, right? Five ways to be a better listener. Here's the first thing. Decide you want to be better. Now, I could say this about almost anything, but the first point about us getting better as a listener is decide that we want to do it. Be intentional about it. Realize how important it is. And you won't have to think very long to realize that being a better listener helps you in a hundred ways. So first you have to decide you want to be better. But then you're in the listening moment. So I have four other things for you to do while you're in the conversation, while you're listening to get better. Number one, be curious. I've done an exercise with groups before where it gets to the point where they end up having a conversation with someone else about a topic that they don't care about, but they're supposed to be practicing their listening skills, and they find almost to a person that they found themselves far more interested than they thought they would be simply because they were working on their listening. So if we will start by being more curious, we'll, we'll likely do the things that will help us be a better listener, to draw ourselves into what's being said. If we're curious, we will be interested, which will help us be a better listener. Next, stop doing everything else. Put your phone down, uh, close the windows that you're looking out of. Whatever our, your distractions are, if you can minimize or eliminate your distractions, you'll be a better listener. Number three, focus on them and their message. So this is about more than just their words, but about them, about who they are, about what their message is, about what they're really trying to tell you, not just the story, but what's underneath the story, not just the information, but the emotions. Focus on them and their message, not just on the words. And lastly, ask more and talk less. If you're more curious, you will naturally ask more and if you really want to know something from someone else, you'll quit talking as much. So at some, in some ways, if we will ask more and talk less, that will happen naturally when we become more curious. But if you'll do that, your listening quality will go up significantly. There's plenty more things that I could tell you about this. This is why I want you to watch and listen to what I've said in the previous five episodes in this series. Uh, and I want you to stay with me for four more after this. Uh, Today, we've talked about five ways to be a better listener. I hope that you found it useful. But I also bet you that if you lead a team at a distance, even just occasionally, that you would find great value in our latest book, The Long Distance Leader. It's the second edition of The Long Distance Leader, and it's designed for anyone who leads a team or individuals at a distance. You will find it of great value, and you can learn more and get your copy by going to kevinicanberry.com slash LDL. Let me close with today's remarkable reminder. If you want to be a better listener, start listening better. You know how to do it, so your first step is to decide you will.